hello traders at samurai trader here welcome to this short video I just wanted to give a recap on some live trading it is uh, Monday the 17th of a 10th down under and today I've fired off just three trades for three winners one was just a small one uh, on the CL and the ES I mentioned last week in a number of videos number of recordings that I was going to start trading the CL during the Globex session now CL for those of you that are not aware that's the oil futures the black gold so I just want to quickly run through my experience with that and of course my standard market the ES I was asked by a number of members am I going to switch over fully to oil well no because we're heavily involved in the fund with the ES so we'll continue with the ES but just to clarify we are looking at an automated strategy on oil it's something that um, uh, yeah, I shouldn't even talk about it really because it won't be for the general public it's for our fund so it's something a little bit different there but uh, with my own account looking at CL during the globe session what I like about uh, oil during the globe session it's it moves slowly many of you are aware I don't like really fast moving markets because I uh, I've got to use market orders and I tend to find I get lots of slippage and um, so I like a slower market I can just take my time putting an order on you can use limit orders etc and so very very quickly let's have a look at a few of these trades but before we do of course uh, mustn't forget need to put up the disclaimer don't trade with money that you can't afford to uh, lose uh, trading does have risk all the more reason why you need to get the right education and if you haven't watched one of my videos before please take the time and read the disclaimer now all of it what I'm about to cover is uh, is taught in my program the day traders fast track program $197 I'm not gonna make this into a big ad but please subscribe to my channel visit my website it includes my indicators of works and there is no upsell in other words you're not going to get a call from me stating uh, well look uh, I want you to spend 5,000 for coaching uh, on top of that if you're not sure I'm also happy to have a, uh, a quick 20 minute Skype call with you if need be so moving right along first of all keep it simple now when we look at the charts in a moment you're going to see I've marked up a lot of lines on them uh, I've actually been writing or rewriting a training manual today so I've been trading as I'm writing this manual for our new members website and um, uh, so I've got lots of stuff on the on the screen but the point here is uh, please don't be overwhelmed and the big thing I try to teach our members is of course you want to keep it simple remember have on the chart the bare minimum just what you need to have next thing is uh, know thy personality I covered this uh, in many videos is every market is different oil can spike very very quickly uh, but my experience is that it spikes usually if you're in the trend early in the direction of the trade so there's actually some great benefits and the two trades that I had today uh, I was filled um, uh, exited very very quickly so uh, you've some benefits but it can be very spiky uh, it's different to the ES so once again trade in sim uh, until you master the setups uh, now let's go and have a look first of all at the ES so what we're looking at here on the left hand side is my entry chart this is a 233 volume chart and the trading platform I use is trade station on the right hand side I have a time frame approximately three times higher at 700 volume and what I wanted to point out the market opened we had a nice t1 look at all your t2s you've got which is very very nice so of course it's Sunday evening or just turn midnight in the US we come down we had a nice pivot bounce and then if we look over at the anchor chart you can see you had a nice t3 there a pivot bounce then you got a triple top now what I want to show you with this traders is, is let me just go over and this is where I fired off a trade and I actually got out too early and let's just have a look here is that this spot oh, it's a bit further along actually so you can see here follow the goal remember you want to follow the 34 traders remember to follow the 34 now remember last week traders I did the members video and the public video 
on using the anchor chart and following the bounces on the anchor chart well if we look at the comment up there it's a little bit hard for you to see that but it says 89b on the AC which is um, our anchor chart and we can see we've got an, a, a nice bounce there we'd punch right through we'd gone through the 200 on the entry chart I shorted just here based upon a nice little double top but it hovered around for ages and I you know look I let my emotions get hold of me on this one traders and I decided to exit uh, look I'll tell you why I exited because I was looking at the 34 my 21 um, the 89 was going up and I was thinking look it's probably going to bounce and it might go through and I had a reversal candle it was stuffing around so I decided to get out at uh, break even plus one so it's about $80 break even on, on the 10 contracts so I didn't lose any money but lo and behold then um, you know it was 50 minutes later and this is another reason as most of you are aware I'm more of a speed trader or, or a momentum trader scalper I like to see the market moving so it stalled for nearly an hour and I just decided to well it wasn't that long before I got out but I had just mucking around so I decided to exit but then it went and moved my way and by the way it's uh, 4 p.m. where I live in my part of the world or nearly so now I'd be waiting for the open of the uh, London session which will happen shortly and so we just had a, a nice t1 and if you look here everything's rolling over on the anchor chart and actually I would have shorted just here and and traders you can see over here you've got a nice t10 up here that was a t10 you can see it there and you've got a t2 right now okay now what I want to show you though was and that's on the CL so I just fired off one trade but let me show you the black gold so what we're looking at here traders is a 89 tick now if you wanted to if you wanted some more speed just drop it down to 55 tick and I tend to find that the 89 tick works really well on the globe accession now there is one drawback on the globe accession traders one is the volume is that for me to execute 10 contracts it took three or four minutes to be filled you, you've got of course quite low volume and if I look at the market right now let me just tell you there has been on oil uh, and it's sort of been open a good eight hours now there's um or oh, about eight hours it's there's only been 14,000 contracts trade uh, for the day for the eight hours where on the uh, ES has been 58,000 now of course if this was the New York session there would be six or seven hundred thousand contracts trade so you can just see the difference so just looking back here uh, the market opened it gapped down we had then a nice uh, t1 t2 t25 you've got multiple types of entry but look at the bounce off for levels traders now remember in the training video I gave you uh, ran last week I said to be very careful uh, and look at support and resistance areas at the zero levels the 30 cent levels 70 cent levels and look at this it come down right to the $50 a barrel and then you had a pivot bounce and of course if you look over to your anchor chart you can see here you had a nice bounce of course on the anchor chart and a nice t3 now this is where it gets interesting and this is the uh, couple of trades I fired off and this hovered for a while and this was an 89b of course on uh, my on the entry chart and it was a 34b over here on the AC on the anchor chart and likewise right here uh, I shorted for six contracts so that's uh, 600 before commissions of about uh, 400 sorry about um, uh, 40 odd dollars uh, then it come back up and these black lines of course are t20s uh, it then bounced back up I had then another 89b and of course it was a 34b on the anchor chart so they're the two main trades I took now then we had of course uh, another uh, t20 you've got um, and just here I just had another this is a 200b uh, on the AC but then um, uh, on the anchor chart we had then an 89b this didn't go too far in actual fact it bounced for a classic um, uh, 34b here and you can see it over here that was a nice one but then look at this up here the 50 30 level 
a perfect bounce it was within one tick of the R1 now remember traders you tend to trade from pivot to pivot what is different about oil is this magic 0 30 and 70 level and you can see here we've come up and we've bounced on the 30 and we've bounced off that and that was good for six ticks again now uh, it was within one tick of the R1 so the on, on support and resistance the two magic areas for me is traveling from the floor pivot to R1 if we break that through then traveling to R2 and of course the further we get out the less accurate your floor pivots tend to be in my opinion and if we broke below the floor pivot our first longer term target would be the s1 we break through that it would then be the s2 or if you're trading oil this the 30 cent 70 cent and zero cent lines uh, they're your magic levels so uh, in summary oil is a great market it takes a while to get filled okay if you if you're trading one contract no problem at all but the big advantage was I was able to use limit orders if I had have used market orders I think I probably would have got at least two ticks uh, slippage I would say so uh, great market got filled it took a little while but for my one two three contract traders uh, it's a nice market to trade in my humble opinion uh, once again please subscribe to my channel go and request my free ebook the truth about day trading and even better still become a member thank you traders